iPhone 6 versus iPhone SE versus iPhone 7 iOS 11 beta 8 coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 6 versus the iPhone SE versus the iPhone 7 iOS 11 beta 8. Now we're getting really close to the official and I want to show you guys how each of these A8, A9 and A10 devices are performing here for iOS 11 beta 8. So let me go ahead and confirm the versions on all devices here. Let me go over here and you could see settings on the iPhone 6. We're going to begin with the iPhone 6. It's the A8 device here going to about you can see 15A5368A over here on the iPhone SE. If I scroll down to general and I go to about, you could see 15A5368A signifying beta 8. Going down, you could see general. If I go to about here, you could see again 15A5368A iPhone 7 here. Okay, guys, so let's begin with the iPhone 6 here. So this is getting close to the official here for iPhone 6 as well. And going into the control center, you could see there's no issues there. Pulling down the notification trays, I don't see no lag there, too much there on that or going over to the camera not too shabby there what about the lock screen issues let's see if there's any lock screen issues so no lag there going over to the camera i don't see any lag so far on the camera for ios 11 beta 8 using the fingerprint scanner you can see it's a little bit delayed it's not the fastest here for the iphone 6 but it still works going in the settings just fine here now what about over here we're gonna get a glitch over here and we did have a little bit of a hang there you seen right there so this is still not ready for official just yet there might be a couple more versions before it hits official i think there's going to be one more beta and then the official let's go ahead and go through some applications here for the iphone 6 and you can see it's not too bad here overall on this latest beta so it's getting quite good in terms of its performance and stability the battery life has actually been improving quite a bit here as well on these latest betas as we're getting closer to the launch so um, you're not going to have an issue too much when it comes to the battery life you've seen a little bit of lag there on the weather though you're not going to have an issue too much when it comes to the battery life here on these latest beta 8 right here so definitely okay going on instagram you can see third-party apps still dragging quite a bit here on iPhone 6. If you got an A8 device, you can see how much lag there is just on these third-party apps here on the iPhone 6. So it's questionable whether you're going to want to update from your older iOS version into this latest iOS 11 coming here for the iPhone 6. The A8 doesn't seem to be running it quite as well as the latest versions here. You're going to see in just a second here. So some lag here, and this is kind of reminiscent of what you're going to see on an iPhone 5S as well. So let's go ahead and check out the iPhone SE now. We'll run similar tests here. You can see going into control center, no issues there. I don't see any lag at all for iPhone SE. Coming down, notification nice and snappy there on the SE. Going over, there's still that little hang when you go over into your widget tray. So that needs to be rectified, period, on iOS 11. Scrolling through your grid of icons, no issues here at all for the iPhone SE. Going into the lock screen, you can see the camera nice and smooth a little bit of jank right there going over to the left i seen a slight frame rate delay there pulling the control center from the lock screen not bad and overall let's check the fingerprint scanner decent there for the iphone se so looking pretty good here on the iphone se let's go into a few applications now and you can see they're flying open no issue once again system-based apps are always going to run good on iphones it's when you get into your third-party app so you've seen weather didn't have no hang here on the se so you see going into third-party apps the a9 device is really you know a better chipset for running these later ios versions going into instagram and you can see just how much quicker it was over the iphone 6 here and uh, I think, you know, iPhone A8 devices, A7 devices are really going to suffer here with iOS 11 based on what I'm seeing. And you can see App Store right there going into a game. You can see no issues when it comes to gaming, a Pie Geek, and another third-party app. So it's loading up just fine here on third-party apps. SE looks pretty solid here so far for iOS 11. Battery life, I told you on beta 8, across all the devices has been improving. So it's a good sign here for in terms of battery life. So what about the iPhone 7 now? So this has got the A10 CPU, the quad core fusion chip, and this one should run it the best of all of them. And the A11 is probably gonna just kill both all of these devices when it comes to speed. But you can see the iPhone 7 looks even better than the iPhone SE when it comes to iOS 11. But you've seen, again, with the widgets tray, there's something going on with that widgets tray. It just likes to hang 
there on iOS 11 beta 8. You can see the fingerprint scanner speed on iPhone 7 looking pretty solid there. So again, looking pretty solid. I wouldn't say too much better than the iPhone SE. Let's check this out one more time. So let's do iPhone SE and iPhone 7. Yeah, a little bit better on the iPhone 7 than the iPhone SE. So A10 devices definitely gonna run this, no issues at all. Let's go into a few applications here. You've seen a little bit of hang right there. So it does hang even on A10 devices as well. So going in the calendar, calculator right here, going in the clock and camera here. So for some reason, the applications look a little bit slow here for the iPhone 7 and I'm not missing those taps. I don't know why it's not responding to my touch here. Maybe I got a defective screen here on my iPhone 7, I don't know. But coming home here, let's go in the app store. You see I'm touching it and it's not doing anything right there. So a little bit of issues here for the iPhone 7. Look, I'm touching that like six times. So you've seen right here live on camera, this is still buggy and it's still not ready to be released to users. I like when that happens on camera because then you could see that iOS 11 is not running that great enough yet to be official release. And uh, if you're thinking about doing a beta, it's probably too late to say, go ahead and do a beta. But you can see in all of these, it looked like the SE was running it the best here. But overall, I just wanted to show you here how they were performing on all devices. Still, like I say, it's gonna be a little bit slow when it comes to A8 and A7 devices. So if you got a 5S or a 6 or a 6 Plus, I probably would really think about uh, if you're gonna update or not, watch some more videos. I'll be running the full reviews on all of the iPhones when the official launches. But still, like, it doesn't look too good for iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, and um, iPhone 5 and 5C are pretty much gone. So I just wanna run a Geekbench on all three devices here before we wrap this video up. Okay guys, so all the final scores are in. 1571 on the iPhone 6, 2706 on the multi-core, 2519 for the SE on the single core, 4400 on the multi core, 3542 on the single core, and 5922 on the multi core for the iPhone 7. So you can see each one does increase, but in the real world, it looks like the SE was running it a little bit better than the iPhone 7. You've seen that I was having app issues here with the App Store, it came back now. But it looks like based on testing here, the iPhone SE was running it a little bit better than the iPhone 7, but I, I expect that to change with upcoming releases here. But overall, like I say, my final verdict here on how these guys are running is that if you have an A9 device or above, that's probably what's gonna run iOS 11 the best. You've seen in this video that the iPhone 6 was no problem when it comes to the single core applications or the regular applications Apple puts on there. But once we get into our more, you know, third party based stuff, it starts to slow down quite a bit here over the newer devices. You've seen that the iPhone 7 just loaded up that play newsstand after I pressed it on the iPhone 6 right after it. So that's going to be an issue. Third party apps is going to be an issue on the iPhone 6 when we get into iOS 11 in my personal opinion so far based on my experience but this might change so stay tuned to the channel to see more official coverage of iOS 11 if you found this video helpful enjoyable click the like button for me subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this Nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace